Okay, 4,000 miles for it. <laughs> what is happening? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Simple Planes. My name is Weasel, and today it's all about the user creations, the Weasel Zone user creations. And this beautiful recreation of the RMS Titanic is by Wahrscheinlich, and he put a lot of effort into this. Uh, required some modding. It runs really well, despite the size and all the pieces. Uh, really impressive work there, especially on the modding part. But yeah, you can even you can even open the doors. I mean, if if you so please, you can you can open doors. See that 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 that's some attention to detail right there. I was wishing for Leonardo and Kate Winslet at the front, like doing the whole "I'm the king of the world" thing. But then again, not everyone likes the movie. But yeah, beautiful model. And usually I would throw it against a bridge or make it sink somehow. But I think we're gonna let it stay as it is. Ah, who am I kidding? Beautiful. The next plane we're gonna check out is the Zetco CA-1A2 Scorpion MK-5. I don't know how you guys come up with the names. Uh, yeah, it's a little, little fictional fighter plane. Look at all these weapons. Look at all these weapons, which brings me to a wonderful thing that they added to the game, which I would like to show you guys. Y do you see that over there? There's all of a sudden free boats. Yes, they have actual uh, boats swimming around that will fire at you and will try to take you down. Uh, unless I can help it, obviously. So I'm gonna drop all my bombs and I totally missed, didn't I? Yeah, to totally missed. Good, good job. Also, somewhere there is a plane in this game, so you can have some dogfights in the regular sandbox mode now. But uh, for now, let's 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 do this. Let's bring this guy down. And did we hit? Yes. Oh, <laughs> blew myself up in the process. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need my rocket pots. You know what? Oh no, I got air to ground missiles. Gotta hit it. This one is down. Oh, we're under fire. <laughs> Damn it. They're really good. They will shoot you out of the air as soon as you get close. When in doubt, when in doubt, just crash into it. When in doubt, just crash into it. Ooh, that was loud. I, I think we got it. I think I think we got it. Yep, it's burning. But as usual, there's not only planes to check out with the tag YouTube Weasel Zone. There's not only planes to check out. We also got this little reconnaissance boat, a PB12 Shadow Tracker. Uh, reminds me of the one in the last episode. And crashing it into the boat does absolutely nothing. Oh, that's that's so tragic. They're all drowning right now. Yeah, I got rockets now. What are you gonna do about that? Not for them. Oh, we're shooting it into the water. Doesn't matter. I got I got a last weapon. I got I got one more weapon. There you go. That should do the trick. And it's sinking. Yes, we were successful. I like how the bomb in the front just blew everything apart like that. This is the real sinking simulator now. Simple planes. <laughs> What is happening? What, what's happening, boat? I think the boat is having a problem there. I mean, we already know that, but something something's weird's happening. I'm not hitting jack shit. Damn it! Are you aim you're aiming the rocket downwards? Of course you're not hitting anything. It's too heavy in the front. Gotta move it. Gotta move the rockets to the back, obviously. True engineer speaking here. All right, let's try that again. There you go. Take it down. Yeah, you didn't see that coming. Still swimming? Not for much longer. I think, yep, I think it's going down. Yeah! And that is how you take down a boat. I think it's not attacking me because I'm so low on ground and it just goes for planes at a certain height. No, no, I'm out of rockets. Only one thing left to do. Captain, 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 captain. <laughs> that looked really awesome though. That looked really cool. Let's do that again. The captain goes down with his ship. Oh, they have some blind passengers now. They're just on the boat. Never mind. It's it's going down. Next, we have an interesting design: the GL63 DFRP Owl. I have no no idea what those those letters mean. I really like the design. I haven't seen that kind of plane before, and it is super super fast. <laughs> Did you see that? That was cool. Of course you saw that. It's a video weasel. Of course they saw that. Like in disbelief. Did you see that? Did you see the thing that I just recorded? Even you're excited. Yeah, this this plane has no weapons, but it is very, very nimble. That's the word I'm looking for. It handles like a iguana on crack. I know it is called simple planes, but that doesn't stop people from making other cool creations like this spacecraft that I just, you know, 
without without wanting to brag, just flew for the bridge there. It's the SPE Mastodon. I I don't know if it is from a certain universe or not, but it's a very cool spacecraft. If there was one thing I would wish for in this game, it was the addition of space. I know that feature wish is a little bit out there, but I mean, there's there's a lot of cool spacecrafts in this community as well. Uh, this one made by a Spiffy. Oh, I'm saying that right. It does have some weapons. Let, let's see how well it handles against the ships. Mm. What do we have? Do we have some rocket pods? Yes, we have some rocket pods. All right, destroyer. Destroyer will be destroyed. No question about that. Uh, hard to add anything. I think we got it. You got the classy by Mr. Silverwolf, and it was made for the Mythbuster series final challenge. I did not watch that series, so I can't really say too much about how accurate this is, but it's a cool little car. I always like showing off your creations tagged with the UG Weasel Zone tag. And, and I like throwing it against bridges, too. That's, that's kind of my thing. If there's one thing how you would describe me, it would be he likes to throw things against bridges. You, you wonder what we're looking at? We're looking at a man's crotch. I present to you, after the coolest cooler, the newest Kickstarter campaign, the inflatable flying air mattress. Because just lying on an air mattress on the water is kind of boring. You kind of also want jet engines there. And, and, and I'm fairly certain it can fly. I just have to get it off the ground. Should have started in water. Doesn't matter. We're good. There you go. And we're flying. And if you want to get rid of the book, no problem. We can do that too. And nobody needs wings, right? If you feel like relaxing at the beach in Ibiza and then shortly after go somewhere completely different, this is the air mattress for you. Y you might drown. You might drown, that's the thing. It actually handles exactly how I would expect an inflatable air mattress with jet engines to handle like. Really badly. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's, it's a super creative creation. I love it. I love the goofy weird ones. In Simple Planes, especially. The weirder, the better, and this one is up there. And and this is basically what you see, which is which is great, because you don't need to see where you're going. <laughs> oh, God. But it is very sturdy, I gotta give it that. It, 10 out of 10. Would totally fund. Would totally fund. You can sunbathe 24 hours with this plane, because you're just gonna follow the sun. You're just gonna, gonna, gonna fly where, where the sun goes. That, that's what I call modern warfare. I don't, I don't think the boat cares, though. The boat the boat didn't care. Next up, we got the Eurofighter Typhoon. A cool creation with some weapons. So let's see if we can hit something. I also got heat-seeking missiles, bitch. Ah, damn it. I passed it. Get it? There you go. Hit. Uh, dip. Oh, made it. We survived. Very good. Oh, no. <laughs> no, they got us. Damn it. Looks like we got a new contender when it comes to aircraft carriers. This one called the CV-2 Graf Zeppelin II. Or Graf Zeppelin II, I don't know. But it is a pretty impressive aircraft carrier. It even holds several planes. With Group 2, you can rotate the turrets on the sides. With Group 3, you control the elevation. Oh, <laughs> I think I shot myself. And with Group 3, you start the little planes, I th think at least. Or no, Group 4, you start the little planes. There you go. Fly, little plane. Oh, and it flies away. I can control it. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just not hitting anything. Oh, only one. Bummer. You will be avenged, little plane. You will be avenged. Just, just crash right into it. Oh no, it's shooting us. It, it won. It's, it's, it's not the most stable. It's made of cardboard. You, you shouldn't make your aircraft carry out of cardboard. Just, just saying. We got an interesting little creation here. We got a little train system. Um, it's not really a monorail, even though he calls it that. Uh, it's a triple rail. Anyway, you're gonna release the train onto its tracks with one, and then turn the VTOL, I think, and then slowly... There you go. Okay, may maybe a little slower. Easy there. Okay, Be best train ever. Slowly, don't, don't overdo it. We got a little train going. If there was one thing I was missing in Simple Planes, it was trains. Maybe maybe we should rebrand the game to Simple Things. Because I feel planes is not very representative of the current state of what you can get in this game. Oh, oh no, it's stuck. Okay, speed it up a little bit. Come on. Come on! You can do this! Okay, pause. Possibly not. Let's try that again. The excitement! Yes, keep pushing, keep pushing. Yes! Ah, uh, damn it! Got stuck again. Never stop, never give up! There you go. Best train ever. I don't care about the rest. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Thomas the engine would be so jealous. So jelly. Perfect. Best train. 
2016. I always wanted to bring down the bridge with a train, but I seem to have some issues with that. Uh, that works for me. I mean, I wanted to- I wanted to make the bridge explode. I wanted to crash into the bridge, but I th think I'm not just on top of it, so... I guess why not? We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna drive the train on top of a bridge. I mean, where else are you gonna see someone driving... Where, where else are you gonna see this? On, only on the weasel zone are you gonna see shit like this. Up! 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 Faster little train, you gotta get up there! New. <laughs> Wait, we're still holding on. We're not giving up. Don't let go! No! This is so stupid. What am I- what am I doing with my life? There you go. Bridge doesn't care. Bridge doesn't give a fuck. This here is the Chibi Falcon mech. It, it's a mech that can walk. I, it seems to have some problems with, uh, more or less the terrain. It's dancing. It's happy. It's dancing to the music of its people. <laughs> I forgot that this happened. I gotta see that again. I always love when that happens. <laughs> That's the way to destroy a bridge. Oh, I gotta see that. I gotta see that in slow motion, though. <laughs> this seems legit. Bridge pieces flying <laughs> away in the background. Mech doesn't care at all. He can't walk on absolutely flat terrain. Rockets, fireworks. <laughs> that was a big firework, all right. Wow, someone made an octocopter. Ship 2222 made an octocopter, and apparently it's really easy to fly. It actually is really stable. Wow. Look, look at that. Still not a plane, technically, so we're, we're, we're doing not too well on, on the plane quota here in this episode. I'm pretty sure you're okay with that. Damn it. Now, now, now it's a hexacopter. Oh. Okay, wait, four, three, one. Okay, still got one rotor. You can rotate it with Q and E, which is really, really sweet. Tilt it back and forth, W, A, S, D. This is, this is great. Great example of how to push the limits of this game. The big question is, can I land it though again? Probably not. No, knowing me, probably not. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Too fast, too fast, too fast. I don't exactly know what I'm looking at. This is just... This is just called Chain by Hi My Name Is Walrus. <laughs> it, it looks dorky, which, which is all I need to make me happy. For glory! Great job, Weasel. Great job. Meet David Duck. This is Dave. Dave is a duck. That, that, that's all he is. Dave can fly because I made him. Dave likes crashing into bridges. Dave is dead. I think, I think Dave needs a little bit more... <sighs> Dave is still missing something. Dave is sacrificing his life for the greater cause, with a nuclear warhead attached to his beak. Good job, Dave. Good job. Remember the USS Tiny Pusher from a previous episode? This one is a new version of that, and apparently it can push it really, really, really well. Let's see about this. This baby can make the aircraft carrier reach 800 miles power. I'm not entirely sure how, but now you can even steer it a little bit. <laughs> Shit, this is so loud. Yep, you can you can now steer the USS Tiny, which is a really much needed addition. I would love to see future revisions of this. Eventually make the USS Tiny fly. It has to happen. I seem to have a problem reaching 800 miles per hour, but nonetheless a cool new version where you can steer the USS Tiny around now. Or force it around, to be more specific. This one here is called Simple Rocket by Ian, and I really like the description that just states, I'm slowly starting to lose my mind. It's a rocket, all right. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't expect it to go that fast. Wow. 10,000 miles in two seconds. Wow. 150,000 feet. This thing. Yep, my statement still stands. I want space in this game. When you reach a certain height, I want space. Please, devs, make it happen. This one is simply called Old Man Skating and Falling. Be be because why not? <laughs> Simple planes. Planes. Holy moly, this old man got, got a few moves there. Old Man Skating and Breakdancing. Finally, someone made Wheatley in Simple Planes. Hey, Wheatley. Wheatley. Wheatley, check that out. It's, it's you. It's you in Simple Planes. Oh my god, it's you. Yeetly, it's you. you! You gotta turn around, buddy. You gotta turn around. I don't have it. It's it's behind you. It's on the screen, dude. Dude. Someone someone made you someone made you in simple planes. How cool is that? You look super dorky as a plane, Wheatley. 
Yeah, Fly flies nearly as good as Wheatley does. Wow, ugh. nimble little guy. T just like the real one. Jesus, he's fast. I'm sorry, Wheatley. I would love to see more Wheatley creations. More people trying to recreate that parrot. I haven't seen a proper looking parrot in Simple Planes yet, so that is something I'm looking forward to. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fly you through the bridge, Wheatley. Isn't that exciting? Y you don't care, right? Yeah, you you don't care. Oops, I crashed you into a bridge, Wheatley. I'm so sorry. Creeper Chief not only made the regular Wheatley, he also made the weaponized Wheatley, which is way cooler because now now Wheatley has weapons, which is super super terrifying. Oh god, Wheatley with rockets and machine guns attached to his wings? I'm gonna have to give him sunflower seeds all the time so he doesn't kill me. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. Alright, Wheatley, there's only one thing left to do, Wheatley. Wheatley's fighting the good fight. You can't stop me! Oh no, you stop me! You stop Wheatley. Here we have the worst rocket ever made, which is a nice title because then I don't get my hopes up and then get super sad if I blow it up. Seems like a proper rocket to me. That's a pretty good rocket. Your title was misleading. Another misleading title. Here we have a missile station. <laughs> okay, what, what are we going to shoot with set missile station? Oh, there's a plane. It's coming. It's obscured right now, but don't you don't you worry. Okay, turn a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. It's a bomber. Oh, we're gonna take it down. Yeah, you got nothing on me. Oh, yeah. Yup. We got it. Nice. We got a little boxing ring going on here. Let's knock him out. And right in the chin. So slow. I knocked him out of his shoes. I kind of feel this is a little bit slow. There you go. Bam. So, according to the description, this is the fastest plane. 4,000 miles per hour, final version. And yes, it is really, really fast. Jesus. Holy moly. What? Okay. Okay, 4,000 miles. For it. <laughs> what is happening? It's, it's wobbling a little bit weirdly. Doesn't matter. It's still flying. Un unstoppable. I think I lost a part that exploded somewhere or so. How is this even, how is this even working? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say this is so far the fastest plane that you can also control really well. I don't think I can fly through the bridge at these speeds. Maybe? Maybe? <gasps> yes! We did it! See, I'm gonna say this was definitely the fastest plane so far. Uh, how cool is this? This is called the Pollinator. The Pollinator. Dominate your enemies with nuclear pollen with the all-new bzooka. Get it? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. It looks a little bit weird. How, how do I drop these? Uh, it looks a little bit weird. I wonder if I can hit something. Let's see. Let's see how, if I can. It looks like she has like, looks like the bee has like six big breasts hanging from it or so. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! It's, nothing's lost yet. Nothing, nothing's lost. Ah, I drowned. It, fly, it flies like shit, but I really want to bump one of these uh, battleships. Man, this thing is fast. Fastest bee ever. <laughs> I think I hit. I hit. Good enough. Good enough. Really, really cool plane by Chip. We're gonna end this episode with the Convair B36A Peacemaker, a replica of an existing plane. Beautiful work by Doggy Z. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. There were a lot of weird and interesting creations. I would love to see more of you guys. Uh, you can upload your plane under the tag YouTube Weasel Zone. Make sure to leave it under the tag so I will see it. And, uh, no. What? <laughs> I'm a boat now. I'm a boat. Yep, I'm a boat. This is a survivor, not giving up. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, hit that like button. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!